Hi everyone, this is Rosa Kelly and today I'm going to start a new mini album tutorial and this one I'm going to, uh, for this one I'm going to use the Heartfelt Creations Pamper Pooch uh, paper collection and this one is the 12 by 12 and I really love this paper, it's very sweet and you know very happy and of course I'm going to dedicate it to my little dog. Um, but you can most definitely use any paper collection that you like so that's what I'm gonna use and then also you're gonna need some chipboard um, so you're gonna need two 12 by 12 pieces and I get my chipboard at Michael's you can also get it online and then also I'm gonna use uh, 110 pound cardstock for my sheets and then I'm gonna use a regular a 65 pound cardstock for my hinge and for my binding as well so my hinge it's all ready and I did a tutorial on this um, not too long ago but I will link that in the description box so you um, so you have it so this um, hinge it's for a three inch spine so and then it will have one, two, three, four, five, five um, sheet inserts. So let's get started. And then of course you're gonna need double-sided tape. And oh, and then I have some magnets and the magnets are optional. And these are eight millimeter magnets. And if you don't have magnets, you can always use Velcro or ribbon to tie, uh, you know, if you need to keep things close so let me go ahead and start by doing the uh let me start with the cover so for the cover i'm gonna use my chipboard and i'm gonna cut two pieces of seven by seven and three quarters so i'm gonna do seven by seven and three quarters and then the other piece is going to be seven and three quarters by three. So I'm just going to cut my chipboard here. And this chipboard is very strong, very um, heavy. And then I'm going to cut a three, seven, three quarters. So I like to cut it on both sides. Like this. And then I just bend it. So I'm going to do the same here, seven, by seven and three quarters, okay, and then for my binding I'm going to need one piece of seven and three quarters by three. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So then this will accommodate to your To your hinge that we did before maybe a little bit smaller but it's okay all right so now we're gonna put those together then I'm gonna use my regular 65 weight uh, cardstock and I'm just gonna join them together so I'm gonna use three and I'm gonna do just double-sided tape on the on the long side okay and I'm gonna peel this off and put this one in here and I hope you can see I know it's white and my table is white but I really think that this paper collection looks really good on a white base so I think I'm gonna do the same with this other side. Ok. 
okay and join my third piece just like that okay and then so i have this long piece and if you have a 12 by 12 white cardstock you can use that one i just don't have that right now and i needed it to be long okay so and then i'm gonna place my spine and my two sides and i'm just gonna glow uh glue them together so we'll start on the center and you want to just put a gentle amount of glue now if you don't like how the glue looks like you know because sometimes you can see these little bumps you can always use a brush and spread it around but I don't mind so much because I'm gonna cover uh, my white base anyway okay so then you place one and then for the other two I'm running out of glue okay so you can also use double-sided tape I find glue to be easier to work with um, because you can you know move it around a little bit and make sure it's straight okay I'm gonna need a new glue right now oh, sorry about that okay so and then I'll just put this one and then you always want to make sure you have a little gap um, kind of like an eighth of an inch so I'm using my ruler here to guide me and then you also want to make sure these are straight so there you go and then you're going to do the same on this other side so here's my other piece and again we just make sure it's straight okay So next I'm going to trim this off a little bit. I don't want that to be, you know, too long. So I'm just going to trim and kind of, oops, let's see here. I just want like a, like an inch or so on each side. So I will do the same this other side and I'm just eyeballing this I'm not really measuring I just want it to not be so so big okay and now we're ready to move this so first I'm going to just um, mark where I'm going to bend it and just help the paper so when I'm ready to use my tape it's ready to go so and I'm gonna do this side and this other side get rid of that. okay so first before you add your tape you want to cut the corner a little bit and you want to make sure you don't cut right against the chipboard there okay otherwise the corner is going to be um, showing and you don't want that so do the same on all corners and then you will add your double sided tape on the edge on each side so then we're just going to peel off our tape And I like to put a little glue here on the border. And then you're just gonna stick this right here. And then we're gonna do the same for all sides. And for these short sides, before you bend it, you wanna make sure you tuck just the corner in a little bit. You just push it in with your nail even and then you're gonna fold it and make sure it's it's glued in and the same thing on this other side so first we're gonna 
tuck in these little corners just like that and then we take off our tape and there you go okay so now we have our four sides and then what I like to do is just grab my scoreboard and just mark this crease a little bit to um, help this bend without, you know, making a bubble here. So I like to do that. And here we go. Here's our binding. So next we're going to grab our um, hinge that we previously did and then I'm just going to make sure it's centered so here's my two here's right here is my my two little marks I just did so I want to make sure it's centered right there and then I'm just going to add a gentle amount of glue you could also use your double-sided tape okay so I think especially the top and the corners okay so now we're ready to just place it and that's why I like glue because you can move it around and make sure it's center and straight and then you can start pressing and there you go you want to press it a little bit more okay and then i'm going to go back again and see where my score lines were here and in the top and I'm going to score just give it a little crease where I'm going to bend these again okay and then I'm gonna do the same in here just to avoid having a bubble there or you know coming unglue on this part and there we go so there you go. How easy is that? Okay. So and then on this side right here, I like to also add my my cardstock. So just regular weight like that, and one more like that. And these measures, I have it cut already. So let me measure for you. So this is gonna be six and a quarter by seven and a half and this you're just gonna glue right here okay so you can use um the 65 pound for this step or the 110 pound it doesn't really matter okay so then and this the reason for this part is just so this paper here will hold your binding as well um, to avoid for these coming out. So I have one and two. And this is basically my process every time I do a mini album. I do the same steps. Like if the sizes are different, um, that's okay, but I always do it in this order. And then even your hinge, your hinge will always be the same. You know, you just make it shorter or, you know, more or less pages that it depends. And I get a lot of questions about that on how do you decide what's your binding size and how many pages. So I'll probably do a separate uh, video just explaining that for some of you that, um, have questions okay so then let's start our page design 
So let's make the pages. So I'm going to make one in, you know, to show you how I do it. Um, but I have my pages already made, so you will do five. So I'm going to start with one piece of heavyweight cardstock, 110 pounds. And I'm going to cut it along this, um, the long side. So I'm going to put the long side here. And I'm going to cut these at six and a quarter. Okay, so this is one. And then the other piece, it's going to go again at six and a quarter. And then these, you're also going to cut at seven and a half. Okay, so this one is six and a quarter by seven and a half. And this one is six and a quarter by eight and a half. So then I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I'm gonna score this piece the long one the one that measures eight and a half I will score half an inch okay and then I'm gonna turn it around and score half an inch again okay so you have two pieces and then you're going to fold this down and you will add some double sided tape on both of these little flaps. is you're gonna peel a little bit of this tape right here and just I like to just peel a little bit and put it on the side that way I can move my page and make sure it's even and then you grab the other piece and you make sure it's center and aligned and then you're gonna press on the sticky part and hold and just take off the rest of your tape and then you turn it around and you're gonna hold it you want to make sure you don't get like a bubble like you know like this you want to make sure it's flat and then you will peel your tape okay make sure it's flat and you take it off and there you go so this is your basic page so you are gonna need five so you need Four more of these and then this page it's gonna go into your binding into your hinge just like this okay so that's another rule if your page measures seven and a half your hinge will measure seven and a quarter that way it will just you know go in without you having to trim the corners here so you're gonna need four more of this page and then we're gonna end right here and then please continue on the next part of this tutorial for the page layouts and designs okay thank you for watching